Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back again with another mukbang in a horror movie and I'm getting ready to watch Slugs from 1988 and I'm eating some scrambled eggs with bacon. Welcome back. I'm so excited. I'm always excited when it's a uh, mukbang in a horror movie. <laughs> so, let me get this remote out of the way. I'm going to mess up the movie. Just put it here on the side. So, Slugs 1988. I'm so excited. So happy. So, very simple today. My one meal of the day. Scrambled eggs. And regular bacon. That's right, regular bacon, not turkey bacon. <laughs> mm. My eggs are so yummy. I cooked them in. First of all, these are organic brown eggs. I love them. Um, I cooked them in a little bit of um coconut oil. So I love this movie, Slugs, 1988. Um, it's not very famous, but it's a really good 80s horror movie. So basically it's about this town being invaded by slugs. Um, I don't know what the hell is wrong with the slugs, but they they attack people and they have like these sharp teeth. And they like eat people. <laughs> mm. I haven't had regular bacon in so long since I did like my keto one week experiment but now since I'm just doing one meal a day I could have a little higher fat you know it doesn't matter So I'm super excited because I actually got this in the mail today. I already did a video, which you guys probably saw already, because I think I'm going to upload that one uh, before this one. But yeah, I got this in the mail today because I ordered it from Amazon. Because I always shop online on at Best Buy for all my movies. But they don't have anything new sometimes, so I like to... I'm always in search for like old 80s horror movies that are hard to find so I went on Amazon and I looked it up so I ordered it and I'm also expecting in the mail today should be arriving later on also Motel Hell which is also another 80s horror movie. <laughs> so yeah I'm excited today's a good day. <laughs> I forgot how yummy regular bacon was. Which is just a college educated way of saying that I crawl around in sewers and that I get paid about a quarter of what I made as a pumper. So I'm keeping it very simple and very basic lately on my one meal a day. I'm going to stick to meat and eggs for a while. 
But you know. They're in my junior and senior classes. They don't like my homework. You sure I can't buy you a drink? I'm sure I would one by now. There are so many different ways to make eggs. You know, I really, I never get bored of eggs. Because, you know, <clears throat> you could have them scrambled, fried, hard boiled. You can make egg salad. You could have deviled eggs. I mean, there's so much you could do with eggs. So, I'm planning my meals for a week. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow night I'll make a pork chop with some egg salad. But then on Thursday, I'm going to go off that a little bit because we, we've had this plan for weeks already. It's my son Jacob's... Um, godmother's birthday and we're gonna have a game night and we're gonna cut a cake for her now i'm not gonna have cake obviously <laughs> no cheat days for me yet but i am gonna make um hot dogs um i'm gonna have them lettuce wrapped i haven't had a hot dog my entire keto journey so obviously like i said i'm not cheating yet <laughs> so i'm not gonna have it with bread i'm gonna have it lettuce wrapped and oh my god and I'm going to put a whole bunch of different toppings on the side so everybody could just put on their hot dogs what they like. So yeah, that's going to be like my one day of the week that I'm actually going to splurge. And then on Friday, I'm going right back to just simple meat and eggs. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited for that game night. We have that's like a little tradition you do we do because we have like our own little circle of friends that we always have like movie nights and game nights with them. And every time is one of our birthdays or one of their birthdays. <laughs> Because I always go all out for mine. I, my parents always throw a big party for me every year for my birthday. And we have a theme and whatever. But when it's like one of our friends' birthday that usually comes to our game nights. We always, you know, even if it doesn't land on, on the same day of the game night. We celebrate it that week. And we have like a game night and we'll cut them a cake. And I'll make like a special dinner for all of us. So yeah, it's like a little tradition. And we've done it with everyone who always comes to the game nights except my friend Eleni, Jacob's godmother. So this year, you know, I was like, the last time she came to a game night, we were talking about people's birthdays. And I was like, you know what, Eleni, I always meant to ask you, when is your birthday? <laughs> so she was like, September 20. No, not 20. 20 is when we're actually doing the game night. September 21st, I think she said. Or 22nd. I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. It's coming up. So let's do a game night. And we'll cut a cake for her and all that. So yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking to myself... What can I do to make it different, you know? Because I always do like keto chili, you know. They've tried all my my keto chili, my turkey burgers, like different stuff I make. And I'm like, you know what? My entire keto journey, I've never made well, keto hot dogs. Hot dogs are a little, you know, higher fat. They're processed meats, but... I spoke to my friend Angel and she told me that if you're going to do hot dogs on keto, try to buy the Nathan's brand, which by the way is the best brand out there of hot dogs. So I love it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to do that. Right. Everybody else who's not doing keto... 
could have their hot dogs in a bun. And those of us who are doing keto will do it on a lettuce wrap. All my shirts are so big on me already. I have to like keep <laughs> bringing it down. I don't know why this phone is on. This is my old phone. And I was using it earlier. Looking through some stuff online while I was charging my actual phone. And I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> so, Sheriff, what do you think? I don't know. Wild dogs, maybe? Out of the hills by the my nose is a little stuffy because I'm getting over a cold. It sucks. I hate getting colds. But the great thing about getting colds on keto is that they're very rare to get. And when you do get them, you go get over it in like a day or two. So yeah, I got the sniffles like two or three days ago. And today it's already starting to subside. But you know, my nose is still like a little stuffy. But it's good because I'm finding that on keto, I get over colds faster and they don't come as often as they used to before keto. What does she want? Something about the sewers being backed up. So, I mean, yeah, there's so many great health benefits to doing keto. It's amazing. Mm. All right, I'm sorry. Put her on the phone. <laughs> Tell me she called the health department too. You got it. Come on, I'll show you how to do this. That's funny. <laughs> the guy's name in the movie is Mike Brady. <laughs> the Brady Bunch. That's so funny. Oh, it looks like it's fall. I love fall. When I watch a movie and they make it out to be like the fall season, I love it. That was so good. Just plain old bacon and eggs, but damn, that was good. <laughs> Okay, so really quick before I go, let me read the back of the box to you guys. From celebrated Spanish director Juan Piquer Simón, the man behind the truly demented slasher flick pieces, 1982, comes a terrifying tale of mutant slugs on the rampage in small town America. The townsfolk of a rural community are dying in strange and gruesome circumstances. Following the trail of horrifically mutilated cadavers, Resident health inspector Mike Brady is on the case to piece together the mystery. He soon comes to a terrifying conclusion. Giant slugs are breeding in the sewers below, and they're making a meal of the locals. Based on the novel by acclaimed British horror author Sean Hudson, Slugs outdoes its creature feature peers by adding an extra dose of gross-out gore into the equation, culminating in one of the most squirm-inducing animal attack movies ever to slither its way across screens. <laughs> I definitely recommend you guys see it if you haven't seen it yet. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And click in the description box below for a link to all my social media. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.